we will start our sixth part of compile design. Here we are going to discuss about type testing. <coughs> Compiler has to be to do semantic check in addition to the syntactic check. What is the semantic check? Static done during the compilation, dynamic checking during the runtime. A type checking is one of the static checking operations. We may not do all type checking at the compile time. Sometimes we use to dynamic checking also for the compile time. Okay. So we are type checking is a collection of rules for assigning type expression to the parts of the program. What is the type check? Type checker implements a type system. A sound type system will make a runtime checking by the type errors. The compiled program language is strongly typed. The every program is compiled except the execute without any type error. <coughs> type expression, a type of language constructs with type expression. Type X can be basic type. So all the primitive data types are set into their real character boolean. So a type error to signal to the type error. Void, no type data type. So <coughs> a type name. The name can be used to denote a type expression. A type constructor applies, a, applies to the other type expression, arrays is a type expression, then array of is a type expression where I denote it denotes index range of starting to ending is indicated. Products is similarly type expression and then partition product P1 and P2 is a type expression, P integer and T integer. The product will result will be integer. Point if T is a type expression, then pointer of T is a type expression, it will pointer of integer. Functions, if we may treat function is a programming language as mapping from a random domain D to a range type R, so the type of the function can be denoted by the type expression D implies R. A simple type system, a poser, declaration of the expressions, declaration D, declarations are first basic type, the integer P. So how, what it does, this data type, what is ID entry type, will be data type, that will be added to the P. So character, integer, real, pointer, array. So array of integer number, of T1. T type equal to array of integer number, value, what is the value of, what is the type, integer and integer. Okay, similarly, the type system will be designed. The type system expressions. <coughs> E implies ID, E type we can look up ID entry. What is the ID type? A type will be copied into E. Character literal. So what is the character that will pass into E type? Integer literal. Integer will be passed into E type. Real literal. The real value pass into E type. E implies E1 plus E2. So e, what is the type of E1? And what is the type of E2? Both will be compatibility, but same type will be assigned to E. E modulus of E, E type equal to integer, and E one type equal to array of structure of T, then E type equal to E, E type equal to T, else E type will be error. Similarly, pointer, E type equal to pointer, then E type equal to T, otherwise it will be error. This is a type checking expressions. Type checking statement. If statement ID equal to the expression, the ID type equal to E dot type, E dot type, what is type equal to E dot type, then S type equal to bind. Else, S type equal to error. S type here place if E then S1. If E type equal to Boolean, then S S will be followed at the same time. Otherwise, else S type will be error. Do it. While E do S1. If E type equal to Boolean, then else, then S type equal to same to else, S type equal to type error. Type checking functions. E implies E or not E2 means. E2 type equal to S, E1 type equal to S plus T, then E type equal to T, else E type equal to type Integer, double legs, character one. The floating point, double legs, character, integer, character, integer. Okay. So, R1 type equal to type. <coughs> Structure equal to type. So, how do we know that two type expressions are equal? As long as type expressions are built from basic type, we may use structure equals between the two data types. If S and T are the same basic type, then return true value. Else, if S equal to array of S1 of S2, 
the some programming language we, we give a name to type expression as and we, we use the name as a type expression afterwards type link point will be the same same data type. variable p comma q is a link will be followed variable r comma s any to the same okay how do we treat the type names get equivalent data type expression for this data type then use a success equal or treat the type name as a basic type so cycles in type expression, type name, type link equal to point of sale, type sale equal to record, next equal to sale, next equal to link, and the whole, so on. So we cannot use a success equal to, there are cycles in type expression. We may, we have to treat type names as a basic type, but this means that the type expression link is different than the type expression itself. Okay. So it's a cycles in type expression, two conversions. X plus Y. What is the type of this expression in desired data? Okay, both will be added. So, what kind of code we have to produce with the type X equal to double and the type Y equal to integer? So, integer to real Y2 T1. Real plus T1 equal to X of T2. So, it is the internal conversion of one type to the type. Thank you for listening.